2018, facing murder charges for the deaths of a 19 and 20 year old. Police say she rear ended the vehicle they were in when they were going nearly 100 miles an hour. Northern Utah Specialist Mike Anderson live in Roy right now at the vigil getting underway for the two victims while we're learning more about the driver. Mike? Dave, that a balloon release soon getting underway as family and friends of Madison Hahn and Tyler Christiansen gather here. Meantime, as you can imagine, this has also been very tough on the family of the suspect. 16-year-old Marilee Gardner. Neighbors say she struggles with depression. What was supposed to be a suicide attempt, according to court records, ends in the death of 20-year-old Madison Hahn and 19-year-old Tyler Christiansen. She's just been very unhappy lately. And I'm sad to hear about what's going on. Neighbors we talked to say they knew 16-year-old Marilee Gardner was suicidal before, though some say they thought she was recently getting better. She's starting to come back and get her foot back into society, and it's been a struggle. And the, her parents are great people. And she couldn't have better parents. Prosecutors say Gardner disabled the security system at home to take her parents' Chevy Tahoe. She had intended to meet up with a friend where, according to affidavits, the two would take some drugs and commit suicide using the car. Instead, Gardner was spotted by a Clinton police officer on the way. Records say she sped up to 98 miles per hour to try and take her own life and instead killed two others. They're good people. I've talked to her mom extensively. And they've tried really, really, really hard. I can say that much. After the crash, prosecutors say Gardner ran to the nearby Winco and called her father, saying she was in a crash and she might have hurt someone. Some of the Gardner's neighbors say they intend to support her family through this difficult time. I'm really sorry for him. It's hard. It's a hard thing. And Marilee's been a nice girl, but she's had some problems, and I was hoping she could overcome them. And a pretty big crowd gathering here as this event's just about to get underway, as you can see. And arresting documents of our gardener say that uh, she's run away several times. Uh, she's recently been hospitalized for treatment, and she's expected to make an appearance in court uh, sometime later next week. Back to you guys. Mike Anderson, Live Force and Roy tonight. Thank you, Mike. Coming up on Primetime 5 at 6.30, we sit down with Dr. Greg Hudno, a suicide expert, to discuss the resources available for both parents and teens who are struggling here in Utah. Deanie?